Seven minutes before the hour, the man who represents Jim and Tammy Baker, as we mentioned in those interviews, is the famed criminal lawyer Melvin Belli, and he joins us this morning from our affiliate KGO-TV in San Francisco. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Hi, Charlie. When you listen to the Bakers, it's interesting. They sound uncertain whether to start a new ministry, whether to continue this fight to keep PTL. What are you advising them legally to do? I'm advising legally to let me handle the legal matters and let them go about the preaching. They're better preacher than I. In fact, I think they're great preachers, both of them. They're, they're real people. Um, I was prepared not to enjoy uh, uh, Tammy because of all these stories I've heard of the wealth and the shopping and everything like that. But uh, I looked at her very carefully and scrutinized her. I think she's a God-fearing woman. I think she's a good preacher's wife. And I think that um, he, uh, Jimmy, is one of the great Christian gentlemen that uh, I've met. And I'd like to see them get back to preaching. They will be back, whether it's PTL or whether it uh, is uh, a ministry of their own. I think the main thing, and I watched the interview that uh, you had with them, the main thing is that um, th th they said that um, they want to preach, and they'll be preaching someplace in some ministry. They don't care which one it is. Legally, what do you think their chances of PTL, getting PTL back? I think they're very on? good in the PTL because it was taken over unlawfully. Uh, Falwell gave over $500,000 to uh, uh, the lawyer that he sent down to see them to get them to resign. Mr. Grutman. To tell them that uh, he was their lawyer. Mr. Grutman. Yeah. Yeah, five hundred thousand dollars in legal fees though. I mean, and there's been an enormous amount of legal fees involved for PTL. Yeah, that is. That is compared to what I've taken from them. Uh, I haven't asked them for anything yet. I was called by four or five people, so many calls that I finally uh, took a call from Jimmy and he asked me to come down there and I did, and as far as fees go, I told him, Look, the labor in the vineyard is worthy to hire and when you come upon some money, then we'll determine about fees at that time. Is that fair enough for you? Fair enough for me, and that's the way it's been. What is the we haven't even been paid costs. What is the extent of their vulnerability on tax evasion charges, do you think? That I don't know, because uh, generally the government uh, doesn't give a lot of uh, information and broadcasts, a lot of uh, uh, speculation about we're going to check you out, we're going to tax you. That's like saying a grand jury is going to meet on you, uh, you're going to go to jail. That, I find it very unusual that um, uh, Mr. Bush's friend, uh, uh, Mr. Falwell, is uh, getting all this publicity about taxation. Let's have taxation uh, determined by accountants, but don't say they're going to do this and that and everything and speculate as to what it is. I think they're going to be cleaner than a hound's tooth when they go through their, their tax uh, audit or whatever it's going to be, if there's going to be one. I was, I was interested when Jim Baker said if there is a grand jury that he would like it to look into Jerry Falwell's actions in taking PTL I've had I've, I've heard no indication from any legal officer that Mr. Falwell was under investigation well I think it'd be a good Christian act to look into uh, Mr. Falwell's uh, bank account uh, too particularly the five hundred thousand dollars that was uh, paid out on uh, legal fees and some of the other fees that were paid out I, I think that uh, you should scrutinize and look at uh, charitable uh, corporations just as you do at uh, me and uh, other corporations, and they have to obey the law. I'm sure that uh, uh, willingly or, or knowingly that Tammy and uh, Jimmy didn't uh, disobey any laws, uh, whether inadvertently something fell through the cracks or whatever you want to call it, I don't know. But uh, he stands ready for a tax inquiry from uh, A to Z. All right, Melvin Bell, I thank you for being with us this morning. Nice to have you here. Okay, again. can I go back to bed now? You can indeed. Thank <laughs> you. Thanks for being with us. It's now uh, three minutes before the hour.